this is Julia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to your assumptions about me. I asked about this a long time ago on Instagram, like a few months back, and I tried filming this once before, hated how it turned out, so we're here doing it again. I don't remember a lot of these, but they were fun. Some of them were fun when I did it the first time, so we'll try again. is um, you don't struggle with anxiety. No, I very much do. <laughs> I won't really go into that, but because I don't really like talking about this stuff online, but I definitely do. Very well organized. I like to think I am, and I usually am. So, favorite holiday is Halloween. It's actually not, it's Christmas. You'd expect it to be Halloween because like I very much like um, a lot of like this, I, I like Halloween stuff, but like Christmas is where it's at for me. <laughs> to become a psychologist, criminologist or something. Very true. I did apply for six criminology programs, so you're not wrong. You're quiet at school. This tends to be the case, yeah. I'm like loud with my friends and stuff and with people I know well, I'm very talkative and stuff, but with people I don't know or in like public places, I'm kind of quiet if I'm on my own. You prefer the killer to the hero in horror movies. Accurate. I mean, you gotta root for someone. <laughs> that sounds bad. Okay. Like, I'm literally wearing a Cramp Camp Crystal Lake shirt right now. Like, who do you think I was rooting for? I think he must be super cool in school. No. No. Most people don't like me at school, so there's that. The girl that fell asleep in class. I have. Like, three times I've fallen asleep in class before. If you can hear that, that is the freezing rain. And that's why I'm filming in the middle of the day, because we don't have school. Um, but I did fall asleep in one class. One I remember was specifically geography. I fell asleep because they turned the lights off and put on a documentary. Let's just say it was first period, didn't get much sleep the night before. Maybe I shut my eyes, then woke up and was like, shit. <laughs> and I woke up to my teacher kicking my desk. So it was a time. Um, try not to do that though, because that's not fun. You went through a hardcore emo phase at some point. I think I'm in that phase right now. Is it a ph It's not a phase. <laughs> I had to. Um, I don't know. I've been listening to like the music I listen to now for years. So it's like, am I really in like an emo phase or is it just like what I listen to? So you have a lot of friends. No, <laughs> I like to keep my circle small for a good reason. I just like my circle small. Like I don't like having like a lot of like friends that like I don't really care about or who don't really care about me and then like just like having them for the sake of it like I don't really see the point to that like when I'm friends with someone like like I'm really good friends with them so like I would do anything for them I'm loyal things like that like I yeah I just don't having a lot of friends bother no <laughs> you do really well in school um I do okay like I've always been like a pretty average student uh the I try really hard so like I get like above a little bit above average grades just it just depends really but like I'm not like um oh like 98 percent average student I wish from your pics you look like a stupid punk girl mean girl thanks <laughs> a really responsible person again would like to think so you like hockey no well I don't know I'm Canadian like some people in my family watch hockey so like I'll watch it with them some of my cousins play so like I'll go to their games um my boyfriend's a referee so like I go to his games all the time stuff like that but like I don't like watch it on tv you have a close relationship with your boyfriend even though you don't talk about it that much I do I just don't talk about it much because you know there's only so much you should share online and then it's like you know I never really believed in like putting my relationship front and center on the internet, especially because like at the beginning of one, especially don't want to do that. And then next week be like, hey, we broke up by um, stuff like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we have a close relationship, a good one. We've been together for eight months now. So yay. You're a hoe for Poe. Accurate. <laughs> You're a witch. Accurate. First saw you, I thought you looked extremely intimidating. I've heard this before. I kind of like that people think I look intimidating. <laughs> so then like less people approach. Okay, with people at school, I'm like, don't approach me. But like, if I'm not like, 
you know what I mean? Like if I was meeting one of you guys, like I'd obviously want you to come say hi and like not feel nervous to approach me. But then like if if it's just like someone from like my grade that I don't care about at my school, like no, don't talk to me. Moving on. Up on Stephen King. <laughs> this killed me. Um, you know what? There's a lot of pressure to read Stephen King because a lot of my audience is Stephen King lovers. And I used to read him just because I enjoyed his books. Um, because I really liked his stories, I loved analyzing them, I loved just everything about his writing, and now when I do I feel a lot of pressure, I feel a lot of pressure to finish them quickly, I feel a lot of pressure to post reviews, um, I feel a lot of pressure of which ones I should read next, um, I get comments every day on my Stephen King related videos which I'm so thankful for, a lot of people found me through my IT book review which has like over 100,000 views right now so like damn thank you, but I didn't give up on him, I just don't read him as much as I used to and I do want to start reading him more but like I just don't want to read him more because you guys tell me to I don't know I just stuff like that I don't know how to explain it but like I, I didn't give up on him but I just don't read him as much as I used to still like the author of a lot of my favorite books so it's like I do want to read him more but yeah I assume you like the outdoors, forests, and rivers. I do. I love hiking and things like that. You always want to listen to music, watch TV, and read, but can't balance all of them. Yes, that is very much true, but I'm trying to get better at that. Those are all the questions that I am going to be answering today, or the assumptions I'm going to be reacting to. I'm so used to doing Q&As that I'm like, yeah. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned a little bit more about me from this video, or I don't know, maybe found some entertainment in it. But thank you to everyone who asked, who, um, sent in those on Instagram and if you want to be a part of like future videos like that that are more interactive be sure to follow me there love that um also I have Twitter Instagram Goodreads I have most social media it's all linked in the description box and yeah I will see you guys super super soon if you're new here be sure to subscribe and if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like I really really appreciate it and I'll see you guys all super soon with a new one bye and all I really want is just some peace of mind I'm sabotaged by the words I'm spoken Happiness is chasing my